こんにちは、さとこです。Welcome back to Japanese World Academy. Today, we're going to learn how to write hiragana. But before our lesson starts, I have a huge announcement. The registration for November courses are finally starting on Monday, October the 20th, 2024. And two courses are happening in November. The first course is hiragana course. You're going to master writing, reading of hiragana within six weeks. And the second course is six week crash course for beginners. So, hiragana course is starting November 14th, 7 p.m. Eastern time. And crash course is starting the next day, the November 15th, that's 4 30 p.m. Eastern time. Both courses are very intensive. So, only for those who are serious about learning Japanese. A welcome to my course, and it's g o n n a be intense, it's g o n n a be a lot of work, but it's g o n n a be a lot of fun as well. And you get to meet all your classmates, and it's g o n n a be a live Zoom session, so you get to ask me any questions you like live. And on Monday, you have an access to 15 minute free Zoom session with me, one on one. So I can't wait to meet you guys. So, go to JapaneseWorldAcademy.com to be on the wait list. And once Monday comes, the registration starts. So, I'm looking forward to it. So, let's get the lesson started. So, today's lesson is how to write hiragana mi. And we came a long way. So, let's do the review. We started from vowel line, right? That's a, i, u, e, o. And moved on to k line. Ka, ki, ku, ke, ko. And then G line, ga, gi, gu, ge, go. That's two dots on the right top. And moved on to S line, sa, shi, su, se, so. And then if you put two dots on S line, that would become Z line, Z line, sa, ji, zu, ze, zo. And then moved on to T line, ta, chi, su, te, to. And if you put two dots on the right top, that would become D line, right? Da, ji, zu, de, do. And then moved on to N line. Na, ni, nu, ne, no. And this N line, you don't put two dots on the top corner, right? And then moved on to H line. Ha, hi, hu, he, ho. And then if you put two dots on the right top, that would become B line, right? Ba, bi, bu, be, bo. And this H line is special, right? Because you can put circle on the right top corner and that would become P line, right? Pa, pi, pu, pe, po. And then we moved on to M line. That's ma, mi, mu, me, mo. And today we're going to learn how to write this mi. Okay, this is the mi. And there are only two strokes. And then the first stroke, let's start it. You start it from horizontal line, the short horizontal line. And then you're going to write vertical line, long one. And then we're going to write some football. So make sure you have the corner there. And then we're going to write the football and cross the vertical line. And then we are going to write the slide here, slide, slide, and cross the horizontal line. Okay. And this is the me. So the first stroke is short horizontal, long vertical, and then football, cross the、uh, vertical line. And then you're going to write another vertical crossing the line. So this is me, me. Okay. And So, Japanese is phonetic, right? One of the benefits of、um, learning hiragana or katakana is the、um, you get to understand Japanese pronunciation so much better once you can read it, write it. So, this one hiragana contains one pronunciation, mi. Okay. Now, we're going to learn some vocabularies. And the first vocabulary is This is familiar. Of course, this is me, right? This is a double me. Me, 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 me. It means ear. Me, me is ear. And then next one is 
me, of course. And then next one, do you remember? That's the uh, chi line, right? Ta chi. And remember this chi. I know it should sound, it should have sounded t, but we pronounce it like c h i chi. So michi, michi. It means street. And then the next one is, of course, this is me. And next one, do you remember? That was so, right? That's S line. So, miso, miso. Do you know what miso is? That's a bean paste, Japanese bean paste, like miso soups, miso, okay? And the next one is, of course, this is me. And then this one, do you remember Z line? That's zu, zu, right? Mizu, mizu. It means water. And then the last one, this is mi. And then this one, do you remember? This is a G line, right? And uh, what was it? <laughs> That's a G line. That's gi, gi, right? Migi, migi. It means right, like right or left, right side, right, migi, okay? So today's lesson was how to write hiragana mi. Thank you for watching, guys. Domo arigato gozaimashita. If you still haven't, please subscribe. And if you like, please press the like button. Arigato. And guys, I am so looking forward to meeting you guys on our writing course or the crash course. Registration again is starting on Monday, October the 20th. And it's going to be so much fun. So I'll see you guys on our next lesson or our Zoom session. Jane, bye bye.